Hello, my name is Miles Dunnigan, and on behalf of the National EMS Pilot Association, I'd like to tell you about Inroot Decision Point, or EDP. Inroot Decision Point is basically a way for us to make decisions as helicopter pilots when we encounter bad weather. Decisions that should keep us from having those controlled flight into terrain or uncontrolled flights into terrain that have plagued the helicopter air ambulance industry for years. As a helicopter air ambulance pilot, this is a scenario that you will either encounter or you already have. Basically, as we encounter bad weather, a couple of things start to happen. The first one is we start to lean forward in our seat. The next thing, we reach over with our left hand and start lowering our collective, pulling our cyclic back, slowing down, and perhaps starting to get a little bit lower. En route decision point gives us trigger points that if we descend or if we decelerate to a certain number, it's automatically time for us to turn around and head back to base. Option number one, just that. As we're flying along, if we decelerate by a given number, whether it's 10 knots, 20 knots, or 30 knots below our normal cruise speed, we're going to turn around and go back to base. Option two, land right there. If you have a decent landing spot right here below you, we'd much rather land and wait the bad weather out. Number three, continue on in an IFR configuration, if that is an option. Continue on, but do not continue on into IFR conditions flying VFR. En route decision point on its own it is not a silver bullet. As helicopter air ambulance pilots and crews, we must stay always vigilant, monitoring the weather and monitoring as it changes. What EDP does is it gives us viable options to give us good outcomes. Thank you.